Kay Ross back again and I love presenting which is why you're seeing me here on this video today. Now one of the things I wanted to talk about was that recently I did a survey of business women in a couple of Facebook groups and the question I asked them was what is it that stops you from presenting? And the answers did not surprise me. Over and over again I got the theme of nerves and anxiety. And a couple of the women said to me, if I could get over my nerves, if I wasn't so anxious, then I'd be able to present. And do you know what my answer to that is? Tr you know, take on the nerves. Use them as something that keeps you on your toes. And also, absolutely, there are things we can do to work on your nerves. And this is something that I was talking to a group in a workshop I was running recently, where we did a lot of work around nerves and anxiety. And you know what I made these people do? I made them get up in front of the group and talk to us. And a couple of them were saying, no, no, okay, I'm not ready. And I said, well, look, if you're not ready now, you'll never be ready. And what I got them to realize was that the group that they were in was probably the most supportive group they could ever be in. Because this group, they knew each other by then, we'd worked together for two days. And they all wanted each other to do well so as each person got up and they only had to speak for a couple of minutes and they could speak on anything that they wanted to the big thing was getting up in front of an audience they said afterwards it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be and I said yes that's what the whole thing's about the whole thing about presenting is that if you're prepared, if you've planned, if you've practiced, then it's not as bad as you thought it was going to be. And I'm not saying you're not going to get nervous. I'm not saying you're not going to make a mistake. You might forget what you're going to say. I do that all the time. And I've got really good at uh, just keep going. So if I forget what I'm going to say, I might say to you, okay, I was going to say something, but I've, let me just take a moment to think about it. Oh, yes, that's right. Or I might say to the audience, and I've said this, if any of you have ever been in a group where I've been speaking, I might say, oh, look, now, what was I saying? Especially if somebody's asked a question, and I've spent a minute or two answering the question, I sometimes forget where exactly I was up to, but the audience is pretty good at reminding me. If they don't, if they don't remember, I say, oh, well, that must have been really memorable so I can start anywhere and we get a laugh and we keep going. Now, that is something else I will say about presenting is have fun. It doesn't have to be like this very um, staid presentation. Be yourself. The audience is going to relate to who you are they are going to want you to do well. And I, when I first started, I used to say at the beginning, I'm feeling really nervous. And they, I, I had people yelling out for me, oh, that's okay, Kay, we won't eat you. And I thought, well, that's the reality. They're not going to eat me. And I survived. So I've done lots of presentations. I've run workshops. I have survived all of them. And I'd come back to that old statement, if I can do it, anybody can. But I will put a writer on that as long as you've planned and practiced. Because if you've planned and practiced, then you're going to be able to do it. So I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing you on our, my next video. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to my channel. So as I said, K. Ross and K. Ross Biz, thanks very much for being part of my audience today. Bye.